Well, I have a very odd piece of cherry. This was sent to me by Buddy Dean from North Carolina. He asked if I was interested in an extremely odd looking piece of wood. Well, no, that doesn't look very odd there. That just looks like a normal piece of wood. But, look at this. Buddy calls this the alien. It's a pretty hefty piece. It's got a lot going on there. I've been looking at this thing for months. I don't want to just throw it in a lathe and turn it and then lose all of the alien. I think I have an idea, but I need to cut it down. I need to slice it on a little bit of an angle. I'll get that taken care of and I'll meet you back on the lathe. Okay, so I just kind of roughed the corners off here. The bottom's not very flat, but I've got the top the way I want it. And I'm trying to leave all of the alien here without cutting anything off of here. And because of that, it's going to be out of balance probably the whole time I'm turning it. But we can live with that. And we're getting about 300 RPM. I'm going to get my face shield on. And this will be a slow process, but we'll start cutting it away. And I got it up to 450 RPM. So since I have that, I'm going to flatten some of this off now and call it a day. And then we'll come back and work on it some more. It's, yeah, it's, it's going to be kind of strange. I got this alien stuck on the side of my bowl. Alright, when I came out here this morning I looked this over again and I decided to shift it maybe about three-eighths of an inch or so. I'm not sure how much but I got this back in balance. Now we'll go ahead and start creating the shape for the bottom. So we're about 430 RPM. I get a few more RPM. Yeah, about 600 is the best I can get. Alright, I need to work on this bottom a little bit. Or 
but I think I'll go ahead and turn this until it's flat in between. Okay, I'm going to take about three eighths off of this to fit my larger jaws that have a dovetail on it. So I'm going to switch to a half inch bowl gouge and cut that down. You go down just a little bit more, I think I will end up creating another point for the jaws to grab a hold of. I'm going to use my square tool here for that. Okay, it's not going to be a lot, but it should be okay. Yeah, I think I'll do some final shaping over here. Six hundred and twenty-five RPM. Before I sand it, I think I'll go over it with the negative brake scraper. Just see if I can get it a little nicer. Alright, that should do it. Okay, I'm going to start with the 80 grit, sanding in reverse. I don't think it's going to be real easy, so it's probably going to take quite a while, and I'll probably have to stop and just do this by hand. But we'll try a little bit and see how it works out. Not all that good, so we're going to be doing this a lot. Alright, we'll see you when it's ready to put finish on it or flip it around. I have it all sanded to 400 and there's some areas that just don't want to sand out so well. It's kind of punky here. So I'm going to put some sanding sealer on it and then I'll sand it again. And I'm going to use the Zinsser Seal Coat for the sanding sealer. I'll just wipe it on. You see how it's soaking it in right here? That is really soft. But, looks like it's really pretty wood. This is a real soft area that I want to sand again after I get some of this in it. And that's about all of the wood. It wasn't the bark area, which that's what this is. And that is, I think that's going to really be nice. Oh, yeah. I 
I went over this with a, like a medium brush to clean it up. There's not really any bark on it, but I like how the colors change in there. So I'm going to get it up to there and a little bit here. And I'll probably have to do this again once I flip it. Okay, I've got it flipped around in my chuck and I've got to make some decisions here. I know that's in my way, so I'll saw this off. But the the alien now looks different, and I really like how he looks now. He looks like he's upside down, laying in that bowl. And that's his chin and his eye sockets up here, and there's his nose coming down. So it kind of changed a little bit, but I like how it changed. Going to have a really small opening here because I don't want to cut any of this away. So let's start by, I'll get this cut off, and we'll start turning and see what we can make out of this guy. Doing about 500 RPM with a half inch bowl gap. over here so you can see what's going on. That's as far as I want to take that and as far as I want to take this that direction so I'm just going to keep following this angle down and hollow out what I can and it's it's very thick there so I can actually go down quite a ways. Still have inclusion right here to deal with so I'm going to use the hollowing tool until I get past that. So that is, that's a very deep hole. And even just now with light touches here, it, it grabbed that little rotten stuff right there. So, so we're going to be going pretty slow here. Maybe I can let you watch it like this for a while. I think that's a better angle there, but I just want to get rid of this and then I'll have an idea what I can do next. That's cracked across here. I think I'll just keep going down this way. I think eventually I will just cut this off. Okay, I pulled the tail stock back a little bit. I'm just going to try to uh, nibble this down a little bit. gouge might be a little easier to use. Okay, I've got about the only shape I can get here. I can't go any deeper. I don't really want to go any more on the sides because I have another hole here. And the bottom of that is 
less than three eighths to the bottom of the bowl. And I don't know what it's going to do under that tenon. When I turn the tenon away, I don't want a hole as well. So I think I'll take this off, fill that void, and I think over here with coffee grounds, some CA glue, I'll put it back in, and we'll try to clean that up, scrape it, and then we'll sand it. I got everything pretty smooth with the negative rake scraper, but up here where I'm only hitting two points, it's really hard to smooth it up. The wood's really soft, so I'll just sand this, and then I'll sand everything else inside, of course. And I'll also go over this area here that I didn't turn, and I'll use a Sandiflex, and I also will use this brush, which I used on the outside, and that actually did a pretty good job because it's it's very thin, dusty layer. So let me get a mask on and I'll show you some of that and then we'll come back and get a finish on the inside. Okay, I've got it all sanded up, and it really was hard to sand. This wood's real soft. This area here is, reminds me of driftwood, so it's, it's in pretty bad shape, yet this over here is nice and hard. I'm going to go ahead and put some sanding sealer on it. I'm going to start out here and just brush it in. Lots of little holes and crevices here, so I'll brush it in and then if I get anything excess, I'll wipe it off. I'll just make sure I don't leave any puddles or drips here. And that right there, that eroded and I've lost all my color, but that's just uh, what the piece is. So I'm going to just say I like it a lot, and I do. Okay, now we'll get the inside. I should be able to just wipe that on like that. And this is the uh, Zinzer seal coat black base sanding sealer. So I think it's going to be pretty cute. And I'll go ahead and get probably three coats of this in this area. A couple in here. I'll get the shellac on it and I'll come back and we'll see what we can do about getting that tenon. Okay, it is time to remove the tenon. I've got this little block in my chuck, some of this non-slip material. And here's the alien ready to have his tail removed. Let's see how it runs. It's uh, it's not the best. I'm going to use a half inch bowl gouge and see if we can get most of it off, but I don't plan on cutting it all the way off because there is some really soft wood here. About 500 RPM. That's, that's not bad at all. Um, that'll chisel off real easy. And boy, oh boy, I don't want to break this right now. Here it is. And it's all done. And yes, I could have turned a normal cherry bowl out of this. 
but there's no way I would turn that alien away. He's just too cute. It's way off center just in order to keep this area here and it was well worth it. And then from the low spot here to the inside wall is less than three eighths and it's got a half inch thick bottom on it. And there's the bottom and it's also it's not a complete bottom but it sits nice and flat. There's so much weight over here it's not going to go anywhere. And look at that alien. He got tired and he just fell asleep in the bowl and that's where he's always going to be. So it's about 11 inches long and from this low spot here across there is about nine and a half. It's about six inches tall. I used two coats of Zinsser Seal Coat for the sanding sealer and two coats of Zinsser Shellac. And then I buffed it out with the fine and the extra fine Scotch-Brite. And I think it's got a nice finish for, for an alien. So I like it a lot. I think it's very odd. What do you think? Do you think it's too odd or is it really kind of cute with that alien in there? Special thanks to Buddy Dean for sending me this piece of wood. It was a lot of fun to do. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you liked the video. If you did, one way is to give it a thumbs up. If you leave a comment, that would also be great. I do read them all. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And for all of you who are, I am very grateful. Thank you so much. I do all types of turnings, from segmented to very natural turnings from logs. Let me know your favorite. Thanks again, and until the next time, see you later.